Hi guys, this is Kevin with Innovative HHO. Uh, we've got a couple of our customers that wanted us to do a couple videos to uh, show how things get hooked up, um, what kind of amperage they're going to run. At a later time we'll come back and we will do our uh, flow rate um, for each or each one of our cells. Um, right now we have our 820 cell, that's a double cell. Uh, it is 8 inches um, in diameter. Um, this one here, we run it at startup is about 21 amps. We do run it through a pulse width modulator. Um, however, you do not have to use a pulse width mod modulator. Um, it will not um, climb with amperage. It will eventually stable at about 26 amps. Um, so let's get into our cell here. Um, as you can see there's no exposed plates. Everything is 100% sealed up. Um, this clear tube here is just for draining the test unit. Um, obviously that has nothing to do with the install. Usually there'll just be a cap right here. Um, so basically this one here you will have it all our cells are gravity fed um, so you want your water tank up above your generator so it can constantly have the flow um, that it needs as you can tell this one here has pretty dang good flow we only do a single in single out um, as it comes up into our water reservoir this reservoir actually is the one that comes with our 810 and our 610 Kit. The 820 actually comes with a 3 quart or an option of a 5 quart. So out of this, you're going to see we come out of the top of this one here and we go right into a filter canister. Now we've tested a lot of different filters. Um, we've used the little small tanks with you know the sediment, you know, the little filter inside, and it just does not catch the um, water vapor of any kind or if there's any sloshing or um, sodium hydroxide that gets up in there um, so we, we, we prefer going with this style um, it is a one micron um, and then from out of there we basically come down and that's what's going to go into your intake now on here this is my test bench so um, it goes into different valves and over here to my flow meter and my uh, timer and stuff like that um, now over here we are using our cells are um, this one here is a dual cell which has five neutrals um, in between obviously on each side of the positive um, negative on outsides um, every one of, and then these guys here are uh, here's our 610 which is a six inch diameter it also is a seven plate um, single and then this one up here is an 810 single which we use a lot with um, six cylinder cars um, smaller trucks stuff like that um, so look 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 to our uh, our new YouTube page we're gonna have quite a bit of different videos we've got a lot of our customers wanting some uh, install videos so we've got quite a bit of those that we're gonna be uploading here shortly that we've been doing lately um, we've been seeing really good progress with this kit um, we're always constantly working on new technology stuff like that so um, Here's our uh, PWM that we recommend and we've used, you know, quite a bit. Um, right there you can see I've got a little watt, watt uh, gauge there showing 397 watts through the whole system. So that's including with the power supply, what it's drawn. Um, but yeah, keep, keep tuned and we'll, uh, we'll upload some more videos, a lot of uh, installs. Uh, a lot of my, even on my own personal vehicles, I'll uh, upload those installs as well. Um, so yeah, check us out at uh, www.innovativehho.com and uh, order your kit and your accessories today.